In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you decreed that the mother of your son should stand by his cross, suffering with him. Safeguard in your fa family the fruits of your great work of redemption and in your goodness make them grow daily more and more. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days, and on the third day he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord as certain as the Lord is coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephron? What can I do with you, Judah? Your, your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, I smote them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. Be to God. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven but beat, beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord.
We're in the third week of the Lent season, and I forgot to check my calendar. I think we have, what, 18, 17 days left of the Lent season. That's 17 days uh, entering, let's see, what, that would be Sunday before Holy Week. So that's what I'm counting. Somebody said, Father, you got your numbers wrong. So we'll try to figure this out. But we're getting closer to Holy Week. Oh, the human heart. Who can understand the human heart? Only one, God. God looks at our hearts. He understands them because he created them, and they're beautiful. So let's take a look at that. In this Lent season, we should be reflecting on our own hearts. So let's take a look at the readings from the first reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 6. Hosea writes encouraging words to us and to the people who read it. He writes, return to the Lord. Humanity's broken relationship will be healed. Those are good words to hear because I am broken. I'm a broken sinner. There, the, and then he continues to write, a loving heart is what God really is looking for. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our sinfulness, but we still love God even in our brokenness. That's what, what God is looking for, all the human heart. It's complex, but it's beautiful in the eyes of God. And then St. Luke's uh, uh, Gospel, chapter 18. Jesus' parable teaches us all about the human heart, doesn't it? So we have uh, two uh, people, the Pharisees and the tax collectors. Two human hearts standing before God. So we've got Pharisee over here, tax collector way over here. I was reading, this might have been in seminary, just some of the resources about this particular parable about the Pharisee and the tax collector. The, one author wrote a list of uh, the Pharisee and, and what that heart looked like. The Pharisee's heart was filled with all kinds of things. And the list is, and this is just a partial list, pride, greed, sloth, gluttony, envy, lust, and wrath. That list might sound familiar because it's the seven deadly sins. That filled the Pharisee's heart. The seven deadly sins. And then uh, the, uh, uh, the author then takes a look at the tax collectors. Uh, that particular heart and another list. The tax collector heart was filled with all kinds of things. Humility. Deep sorrow for sin. Trust in God, not himself. An openness. And a loving heart. Two hearts. God looked at them both. And remember what at the end of the gospel, the tax collector's prayer was heard, not the Pharisees. There's all kinds of beautiful uh, uh, prayer reflections on humble hearts. Uh, and maybe the next few days, what, do we have, what did I say, uh, 17, 18 days. This might be a good time to take a real serious look at our own hearts. I don't know, if, you know, uh, I don't know how you want to do that. Sometimes people will just take it out <laughs> and just look at, look at our hearts. Or, or maybe a look in a mirror. What do we see deep in the heart? What kind of list would we put, toge uh, put together in our hearts? Here's just a few uh, little prayer reflections that I found that just help us out uh, uh, to, to really uh, look on a spiritual level, a real challenge about our hearts. So uh, this one uh, reflection is very simple. The author writes, and you've heard this before, it's just a beautiful little reflection. Change my heart, O God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Little prayers like that. Those are wonderful. And I, I got my little, uh, I've got a couple of the little books. These are Lent books just daily little reflections. Uh, this one's a beautiful prayer, again, about the heart. Oh, the heart. How beautiful it is. God loves our hearts. The author writes this prayer. Lord of mercy, help us to know that our identity as sinners does not define us nearly as much as your identity as love itself. Please show us your mercy Draw us into your loving embrace, and we shall be made new. Oh, fill our hearts with humble joy. And of course, the most beautiful heart 
ever in human history is the Immaculate Heart of Mary. There, uh, we study her heart, we'll understand a good, humble spirit, a good, humble heart as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners now and at the hour. St. Joseph, Our Lady of Seven Sorrows, the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and together we stand and turn to our God, who is the source of all grace, and present our prayers and petitions this morning. We pray for all members of the church during this Lent season. May God continue to help us grow in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For government leaders, may God help them in fulfilling their role in building up lasting peace, especially in the Middle East. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are in the RCIA program and, and continuing to do the preparation just a few weeks left before the enter Holy Week and the Easter Vigil. Let us pray to the Lord. God, we ask you to give us the grace of good, humble, holy hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For we who worship and share community here, may the Holy Spirit help us recognize Christ in, uh, in one another and in our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died, and especially we pray for the souls of all our deceased family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and just in the quietness of our hearts, own personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and we pray our Mass intention this morning is listed for Joe Schuster. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, Almighty and eternal God, you know our every need. Please hear and answer the prayers we, have, we bring before you. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. You'll become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice Lord, let our gifts be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit, so that the sacrifice of the altar offered in union with the Virgin Mary may wipe away our sins and open for us the gates of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In your divine wisdom, you planned the redemption of the human race and decreed that the new Eve 
should stand by the cross of the new Adam, as she became his mother by the power of the Holy Spirit, so by a new gift of your love, she was to be a part, partner in his passion, and she who had given him birth without the pains of childbirth was to endure the greatest of pains in bringing forth to new life the family of your church. Now, with angels and archangels, with the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise. Holy. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you pave the way.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, please protect your servants whose hunger and thirst you have satisfied in this beautiful sacrament. As we call to mind Mary's suffering with Christ, 
grant that by carrying uh, our cross each day, we may come to share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>